are your election authority with just one week to go now before voters head to the polls. Today is a big day. It's the final day to register to vote and it's not too late. There are three ways to get it done before midnight. That's right. If you have not registered yet, here is what you need to do. You can go online and register at the Secretary of the State's office before 1159 tonight. You can also mail in your registration as long as it is postmarked with today's date. And finally, you can visit your local registrar of voters at your town hall until 8 p.m. tonight. So you have a little under two hours right now. Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff is live at South Windsor Town Hall where plans are being made for mail-in and in-person voting. Susan, good evening. Good evening, Erin. It is not too late. You do have until 8 o'clock tonight if you want to register to vote at your town hall. There are so many changes in this election, and as you can imagine, town clerks and registrar voters have been very busy. Also, there are still plenty of people who want to go to the polls and vote on Election Day, and many things are being done to make the polls safer. If you haven't registered to vote already, you still can, but time is running out. In South Windsor, they've built a vestibule, a small area in the lobby of Town Hall, not only for town business, but where you can register. Hey, thank you for voting. <laughs> <laughs> there is also still time to get an absentee ballot. You can get an application at your Town Hall, but with a week to go before the election, it's better to drop them off at ballot boxes because mailing them may not get there in time. And I want to make sure that in this public health pandemic, we do everything to make sure that we can keep our safe, our state safe, and make it so our seniors and those with pre-existing conditions and anybody who didn't feel safe, they could vote right here early and not have to get in line. And for those who still want to vote in person on election day, safety is a priority. Most of our polling locations will be offering masks to those that don't have them. We'll have san uh, hand sanitizers for um, the voters that come through. A lot of the locations are doing simple things like disposable pens. Connecticut is seeing an unprecedented number of registered voters, more than 2 million, 200,000 more than in 2016. And with COVID cases spiking again, state and local leaders are urging people to wear masks on election day if they go to the polls. But what happens if someone chooses not to? We, by law, cannot refuse anyone their right to vote. Uh, however, we are, shall we say, strongly encouraging people to come with masks. Uh, if they don't have one, as Sue just said, uh, many will be offered one if they have forgotten theirs. So when it comes to masks, there could be those who are insistent about not wearing them. In fact, some towns are going through the extra step of removing or putting polling stations away from the others so that there could be people if they want to vote there because the main concern is they want to protect everyone's safety. We are live in South Windsor. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.